I think so, and, and why don't we put it this way? I think that if Tyson Fury and, and Tyson Fury against AJ can't get made for December, what about that man, Joe Joyce? That's a tough fight for. He gives any heavyweight on the planet a hard night's work, and I think we we'll have to give so much credit to Joseph Parker. The bottle he's shown throughout that fight was unbelievable. I think if you if you look at all the best shots landed in the fight, ten of the best shots, nine of them were probably landed by Joseph Parker. But every time he'd done something good and he was looking to get offside, Joe was just sticking a big jab right down his face. And the jab was the key tonight for him. He was, it was a fantastic performance. And if there was any doubts, they're extinguished now. And the two of us with the reporter's notepads on the end of this lineup here, Steve, here's what I wrote down, and then you can tell us what you wrote down. Discipline and smart, yeah. Joe Joyce, but in the middle. OK, Carl, I know that Parker was landing the big shots, but the jab was magnificent. That was Lennox yeah. Lewis's jab at work in there tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use one of the words you use, smart. That was the smartest Joe Parker. David's touched on it. That was a sensible Joe Parker. He didn't overcommit. And I think that may be through Joe, that, uh, sorry, the smartest Joe Joyce we've ever seen. Smartest Joe Joyce we've ever seen. Definitely. And I think that through Joseph Parker. And I think it through the people in the corner. They were expecting Joseph, Joseph Joyce, Joe Joyce to be there like he's been all the way through his career being hit by guys that didn't deserve to share the ring with him tonight I'm sure he, he took those nine or ten great shots that Carl's talking about but in general his defense was better his timing was better and he fought his way through that fight